Dolores Van Cartier in Broadway and Music Services production of Sister Act in 2017. I'm Lynn Wintersteller and I played Mother Superior in the 2017 production of Sister Act at Sacramento. A full disclosure before we start. Born and raised Catholic, I had eight years of Catholic school with the Notre Dame nuns, and I also played the role of Mother Superior on the national tour for six months. My time there during this show was fun and exciting and really, really fast paced. Labor of love, labor of love from the get go, from the first day of rehearsal, to the extended final performance. We rehearsed for maybe two weeks and then we did a production. But you would not be able to tell because Glenn Casal is a master at what he does. To be reunited with so many friends and um, director, Glenn Casal, extraordinaire, the Zonia Love who played Dolores, um, the incomparable Zonia Love, Audrey Neenan, who originated the role of Sister Lazarus on Broadway. We were all there to just serve the piece and then to just lay it out for you as the audience members. Like I said, it was a labor of love. I know nuns, and it is so much fun to put on a nun's habit and to imitate my teachers. Mother Superior, I came as fast as I could. What's wrong? I want Dolores out of here by the end of this service. Where is she supposed to go? I don't care where she goes. Get her out now! <laughs> My favorite song in this show is probably um, Sister Act, um, the song that Dolores Van Cartier sings um, towards the end of the show. Raise your voice. It's the show-stopping number. It's when Dolores teaches the other nuns how to sing and find their voices. And it ends up being this uplifting revival, and it just was a pleasure to watch on the national tour and every night in Sacramento. <laughs> I also thoroughly enjoyed the song that the gangster sang, um, Lady in the Long Black Dress. Watching and following the three gang members who were coming into the convent to, to, to kidnap Dolores, um, it was Chris Chapman, Todd Horman, and Justin Keyes. And what started out is these three guys trying to compete with each other to um, how they're going to seduce a nun and break in the convent and get past us. Um, it ended up turning into a Chippendales minus the stripping. Say no to us. Let's get to that convent and get Dolores. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Stopped the show and it got longer and longer every night, and I had to stand there and watch and wait because, of course, my next scene, the soliloquy, got very serious and I had to bring everything back down. So, 
that just ended up being my favorite part, just to watch the audience go crazy. I thought I'd get a glimpse of glory. I thought I'd get a taste of grace. I thought I'd get to bring your kingdom closer to earth. I think what people enjoy most about um, shows done at Broadway at Music Circus is probably um, the fact that they can feel the love and the joy and the professionalism that goes into these productions. I want to thank you all so much for taking the time to always support us, to be generous with us. Um, without you there, we wouldn't be able to come and play and perform. And we, we feel your energy, we feel your love with every single production there. And we thank you so much for your patience in this very, very chaotic time. Broadway at Music Circus has uh, the most amazing team of producers, designers, administrative staff, um, outdoor staff, it's always a pleasure to return to Broadway at Music Circus. And I look forward to returning at some point. Look at my star rising right on cue. Look at my dreams as they all come true. Look at me now, baby, take that view.